Hey all, welcome back to the Mojito channel. Uh, this is another vlog and last time I did a voiceover, something that I had stopped doing and it got pretty good feedback. So I was thinking about doing a voiceover for this episode as well. But then after reviewing the footage, I realized I don't really have anything interesting to say about it. And I don't really have anything funny to say about it either. Uh, here you can see birds eating seeds. And uh, that that's it. The, the birds are um, eating the, the seeds. I've seen a lot of stuff like this recently, like people put these bowls of fat and seeds for the birds in a lot of public parks and public spaces in general, wherever there's trees. This is a canal that is in my hood, it's very close to where I live, so I go there pretty often, especially when the weather is nice. This is the um, other side of the same canal, and uh, I like that there's a tag that says meme. That's pretty funny, that's pretty cool. Um, that's canal again, the same canal, I haven't moved. <laughs> and then I'm zooming for some reason. This is a completely different place, uh, but still inside the inner city. Um, it's not too far to where I live, but... Uh, uh, I, I don't fucking know, man. Look, it looks cool. This is night. Um, this is the, the same canal as earlier, but at night instead of day. Uh, I like the lights that reflect on the water. I think that looks neat. That's um, also the same canal. I haven't really moved. Just looking at the other side. And now it's raining. There's a statue, uh, and now the statue isn't there anymore, but it's raining even harder. This is in my hood. This is very close to where I live. It's actually the same canal again, which I've made a lot of uh, videos, like especially vlogs, where you see the canal, and it's because it's like very close to my house, so I go there often. And I crossed the canal to do a lot of stuff. Like when gyms were still open, I had to cross the canal to go to the gym. Uh, my dentist lives on the other side of the canal. My uh, doctor is um, right in front of it. I mean, uh, I go there often, whether it is for uh, fun or because I need to. I think that uh, black thing is in the middle of the screen is a cormorant. Oh, and it's night again. This is not in my neighborhood. It's uh, further away. And uh, yeah, it's night. And you see the lights that reflect in the water. I think that looks neat. That's not a canal at all. That's the Seine. It's a river. A large uh, river. You can see lasers in the background. I like when the lasers um, cross the clouds. I think it looks neat. Um, I'm really running out of things to say. Oh shit, this is the gamer house! Found the gamer building! Oh, this is sweet. R. G. B. Hell yes! That's what I like. And now we are outside and it's day. It's not night anymore, it's uh, day. This is um, still in my hood. It's a big um, park, one of the biggest parks of the city. It's pretty large and it's pretty... Um, um, in terms of altitude, it kind of dominates most of the city. So that's pretty cool, you have a good view. These are buildings. More buildings. Oh, a tree! Oh, buildings again. Oh, a crane in the background. Uh, oh, three, four cranes. So many cranes. What the hell's going on? People are doing construction work. 
And that's in the same park, actually. I haven't moved much. It's only a few steps away from the previous um, scene. Or sequence, maybe, might be the more appropriate. It's just a little water. Um, and uh, yeah, this is still the birdest vlog, I suppose. So you you got to see a lot of birds. Um, there's a crow. Uh, you're, you're gonna see a crow in a few seconds. Oh, but first, uh, there's a tree. Well, that was the beginning of autumn. So the leaves started to become yellow on a lot of trees. And especially this one, where they got this intense yellow that I thought looked really neat. There's a duck. You see the duck? It's right in the middle. You should be able to see it, I believe. I'm zooming like a motherfucker. And the image quality is not great, but the duck is sleeping. That's pretty cool. Now I see a lot of ducks. A moorhen just crossed the screen. And there's also uh, seagulls. So, yeah. The, the bird's vlog is still going on. Very deserved reputation of having like a lot of birds. These are more hens and ducks, and in the background there's geese and more ducks and um, seagulls that you saw for a split second, and more ducks. There's just a lot of ducks. There's a lot of ducks. Yep. Ah, crows. Told you they were gonna be crows. They're uh, looking for food. Or maybe they just like misplace their wallets, shit like this. They're clearly looking for something. This is not zoomed in. I was able, I was able to go real close without, you know, frightening the bird who seemed really accustomed to having human clothes to it. The other bird flew away, but this one didn't. And that's a different crow on a different day. And uh, this one has found a fruit. And he's trying to uh, defend his fruit from the pigeons, I suppose. Not sure what was going on. At some point he seemed uh, to give zero fucks about the pigeons and at some other points he seemed to actually dislike him or something. And there's all completely different crow. That's a, that's a different crow. It's, um, it's still a crow, still in the same hood. Yeah, oh, that's a crow. I think crows in Japan are symbols of luck and good fortune. Seeing a crow is supposed to be a um, a good omen. You uh, you see that in Dark Souls, where at the beginning of the game, after the tutorial thing, there's a giant crow who takes you to Lordran, and it's supposed to be a like a, a sign of good thing those are some kind of I don't I don't know budgies parakeets stuff like this um, there's a bunch of them that escaped from a zoo I think many years ago and now you see a lot of them they're a very very bright uh, shade of green that I was barely able to capture with my uh, camera phone but um, yeah, it's pretty rare to see them chill like this. Usually they're flying fast from one tree to another and they don't seem to like rest a lot. I think the difference was that it was very very cold on that day. And usually when it's cold I do not leave my house. So maybe they're chill when it's chilly? I don't, I don't know. That was my hypothesis. Uh, but I really did see a lot of them. Usually I see them from afar. This is the first time that I see them from this close. Like I was right under the tree where they were eating the fruit things. A 
I tried to capture a lot of footage because like I've tried to film them or photograph them for years and I was never able to do it like I've, I've been trying for like five years or more and uh, finally I made it That's the crow I was talking about earlier. I was confused about the the, the sequence, chronological um, thing. Crows are pretty cool. They they look cool and they're very smart. Do you think he's seeing himself? He's seeing his reflection. It looks a little bit like he's checking his own reflection in the water. Can they do this? I'm not sure, but I would not be surprised. Oh, what a surprise! It's another crow in a tree in the same park where about half this vlog was filmed. This was the the, the time of the year where um, we had lots of um, freedom of like going around. The quarantine had uh, ended. There was no confinement at all on the horizon, and uh, the the. Reconfinement was decided very hastily in uh, October, when um, like it was like at the end of October, and uh, they had been saying for a while that it would not happen. And that is my favorite kind of bird. Look at it. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, that that were moments of freedom that um, we thought would um, last but I, I had my doubts and uh, I wasn't very happy of being like cooped up in my own apartment so during that uh, summer I went out a lot even that day where it was really cold outside I was like yeah but Going outside is really cool, and uh, you know, there's a lot of a lot of times you don't realize what you have until it's gone. Like there's so many things that we take for granted, and uh, that's the end of the vlog. I was inspired by the gamer house that you saw earlier to make my whole house RGB. I replaced all my light bulbs by RGB LEDs and uh, my apartment is that much cooler now. Thanks for watching, this is the end of the vlog. If you liked it, like, subscribe and if you really liked it, consider subscribing to my Patreon. And uh, I will be back relatively soon with uh, one more vlog. Yeah, I'm doing vlogs again now. So, see ya.